Yes, now my lovely people, welcome to J Progress Entertainment again. I want to see what I go on earlier, all of the ingredients then. Last week, I gave you no pakasa. So this week, I decided so what I give you. I give you no some carrot dumpling with some rundown with tin mackerel in it and some broad bean kind of thing like. You hear me? I say, my people, real Jamaica style. Peace, make we get right down to business. Yeah, now we know see when we have the coconut ready. This I go do with last to make the run down. I want to see me have the carrot and everything chop up already and all of that. So now what we are gonna do, we are gonna blend up the carrot and we are gonna use the juice and put it in the flour and sprinkle a little of the carrot in it as well. Carrot dumpling we are make, right? So make we get to work with 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 <laughs> Remember peeps, we are with trainer, so we have to strain it off. Everybody who don't know if you catch it, you know, we have to have with trainer. Strain off or we have strain off as well. Remember, you know, I don't want nobody to ask me. I don't want nobody to ask me, say, how much measurement I'm sitting because I'm my hand of the measurement. I don't have no different measurement, only my hand me use as measurement. So I'm make sure you don't put too much water because I don't want this rich. We don't want all of the flavor of the carrot juice the same way. So we don't want it as rich as we can get. So the more carrot are the better for you. Because we don't want the juice to rich, rich, rich. Right? See that? That should do it. That should do it. Right? And here the trick on my people. Not because now we don't see when me squeeze out this. When you see this, this is a part of the magic. You can't throw away this. You can't throw away this just yet. So what you do, you put it right by there in one container. Right? And then, for the rest of the carrot, you go like that. Boom. And again, get some little bit of water for it. See it? Not too much water, people, just above the carrot. Because, me say, you want the carrot juice, you are rich. Because of that, of the flavor for the carrot dumpling, me people. Oh, no, come on, no man. Oh, no, come on, no man. I'm telling you already, nobody no ask me about measurement. <laughs> Something no tight and good, you're saying, you know? Hold on, hold on. Next thing, me go mash up the nutri something you like, what you hear. I fix it one time by luck because I'm not an electrician so I don't see a buck up me fix it so this time around I am not so lucky maybe I not so lucky this time around so here we know I see the water kitchen here so make sure you dry it out properly this time around and back to work again let me see if we better <laughs> One thing more time, I tighten all them things so tight, you know. So, yes, my people, see it now, and then we strain off the rest of this as usual. And I'm going to show you how rich the carrot juice is when I'm going to use for the flour. And as I tell you, I'm not sure with this either. 
I now use the whole light. I have some beer from the first bend and I have some here. No, let people can see what I'm going No, can't see. Let me, let me, let me, let me see. This is how rich the blend is. This is how rich we have it, my people. That's how rich the carrot juice is. Because here you know, you want the real carrot flavor in it, right? Yeah. And then you get the flour. Remember, people, it's plain flour. Me don't know how much people who know how to surf on the most know how much flour I'm going to use. Me very cream, so sometimes I'm going to use a lot of flour. So you put in your plain flour, right? After your plain flour, you make sure and get your corn meal. Because you can't let out this in the dumpling either. You still want your corn meal, right? You're not everybody used to whip them like. Me like whole if I can meal in my dumpling. You get to me, I say? So we do something like that. Can meal and then we get the salt. Get the salt and remember me tell them say my measurement is my hand and my hand the scale. And my hand the scale for the salt. Then you put in the salt. That's not too much salt right there, so chew off back that. Because remember, when you put in the salt, it can take out. Alright, you know, my peeps are seated the water ready. We have the carrot juice. Flour did the caramel did the salt in it ready. And this is the magic on the door I miss now. How the carrot dumpling go to work. You know, remember the little bit of carrot something you did left? So this is where now. It depends on how much you want to put in, right? You just sprinkle a little like this in the flour. Not too much, you don't want to overdo it. Right? Sprinkle a little like that in the flour, a little like the carrot with your juice out. It's still moist, you understand? And then you're mixing this. Mix in and make sure you rub it out. Make sure you rub out the carrot with in the flour. Rub it right out. So you know the flour get quite grainy when you mix it out. Yeah, man, that's how we got to work with it, man. Mix it right out and spread it in the flour. So you are mixing everything. You are mixing the salt. You are mixing the car meal. And you are mixing the carrot. You understand what I say? This is pretty much what I talk about. You rub it out like this. Rub it out, right out, right out. You get what I say? And then we get to work with the rich, rich, rich carrot juice now. Alright? Remember, don't spoil your flour. Long time me I do this. Remember, don't spoil your flour. See there? Oh, this carrot juice smells so lovely right now. Me I put another flour here. And you suppose you see a nice, pretty color come up from the carrot we are putting on the flour, right? And the juice as well. The rich carrot juice. People, me I tell you, you know. And J Progress Entertainment that alone can show them there. Anywhere else you go. If I don't want country man from back, I wish not the country I tell them about carrot dumpling. Remember me tell them say I teach them teach J Progress style. And them teach the country cooking. You hear me I say? Alright, little bit more carrot juice. Not too much. Not too much. Right, you want to mix in this right. And remember, if you feel like, say, your dough is a little bit too soft, you can always just sprinkle a little bit more flour on it. You understand what I say? Enough to be a case where it's spoiled or anything, but if it's too soft for you, you can always sprinkle a little bit more on it. See me dough, yeah? But in my mind, I feel like it's too soft. You understand what I say? So, all you do, people, just a little bit of flour, get a little bit in your hand, like this, sprinkle it over it, and then you get back to work. And that should do the trick. See there? Ready this ready right now, you know, and then we make up some caramel dumpling, you know. You know, see? Yes, man. See there? All of the little flour, we now waste nothing. We now waste nothing. See there? Yes, man. Yes, man. Mm -mm. 
that we are talking about. And now we just make up with dumpling them and get to work. You see me? Yeah, man. I remember see how we do it, you know. I cook and chat, we say, you know. So we have a reason for something. I drop a video yesterday, people. And you see that video that I drop? Where the brother, him friend called immigration upon him. The amount of people when we see a relate to that video that my people. Where the man friend called immigration upon him. So I have all another video. I don't talk too much. But we just know that I have another video for job. Similar because by the time I drop the one, there are only people I see are sending, are sending some information and say J progress, this reach me, J progress, that reach me. You understand what I say? Yeah. So look at the carrot dumpling them look. Let me see if you can see. You see you have a nice colour? Let me see. You see that colour there? Look on the colour. Alright. So you know what time it is. Yeah man, enough people can't need dump, make dumpling you know. A whole lot of people see you make dumpling, they roll you up in one ball like that so. And go so, roll you up in one ball, then they press you out. Then they roll it so. Nothing no wrong still if I say you make dumpling. Nothing no wrong as long as you make you know, one dumpling where you can work with. Because you yeah, still. Once you press out to soak, man, you boil in the pot. And cook dumpling ready for me. You understand know what I say? Just make sure you say cook good because enough people cook dumpling and the flour raw. And the worst thing, them things that we swell all your belly. Worst when calm you lay night. Mm -hmm. So see the people, I try to cut down from the amount of flour I do today. When we do the pack, I say, oh gosh, man, that's too much food. Too much food, man. Believe me when I tell you. So right now, we are giving you know, the good old carrot dumpling with some rundown with tin mackerel in it and broad bean and hokra and beer things. Hey, hey. Tell you something. You see how they have them food there? See how the man them have them food there? Tail pipe whistle. And you see how when the woman them eat them food there? Hmm? No care the man to get a jump on him when he come in. Remember me tell you, ladies, them your food there when you don't eat them food there. Believe me when me tell you. As a man come in, you don't jump on him. You don't even like him time to take off him shoes good. Believe me when me tell you that. Yes, man. So please, me, see that me have some, me have some planting I go with it too. So everything when me have you, me tell you no. Irish, planted, all of that. See, quick and fast, it's not too hard to make the, the, the carrot dumpling and put everything else with it. Then after that, we are going to just blend up with coconut and go to work. So it no matter if you can cook. All if you can cook, no, 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 Look at the ingredients that I buy. Right? Put on your pot on the fire with some water. Maybe break it right down for you now. Put on your pot on the fire with some water. Right? And when you put on the saucepan, put it to about half. A medium sized saucepan. Yeah? Put the water level to about a half. At the saucepan. Get your car the carrot, wash it, cut it up, blend it out, get the juice. Don't add too much water because you want the, the carrot juice to be rich. Because of that the flavor go in. If you water it down, you're not gonna get the real flavor out of it. And when you juice the carrot, whether you want to blend your carrot or grate your carrot, you understand that? See me grate here, you know. But me think just lazy and say me a blend it. It is it, easier. So just get your blender, blend up your carrot, juice your carrot, but do not chew away all of the carrot where you juice out and left the, the little trash. Because you need some of that to put in the flour. You don't want to overdose the flour with it still. You just want somebody to put in the flour. You understand me? I say because I the juice I go make the magic work, my people. Believe me, no man. Believe me when I tell you. After you do that now, you get your flour and your caramel and put in your salt. Right? Put in your carrot trash. Mix it out and rub it out in the flour. Make it mix right in. And then you use your, your rich carrot juice to knead the flour. To make the dough. After you make the dough, you make your dumpling like I am doing here now. Whether you roll them, whether you can make dumpling good like me, because I hear me I do it. 
and put it in a your pot. You understand? See the now? At the last one, this made the pan to throw in the pot. And when you put all your dumpling in the pot now, people, you know, see how me I break it right down for you, you know? You get a spoon or a fork, anything of your choice, right? You get a spoon or a fork and get a little stir. I'm going to tell you why. You see, if you just throw your dumpling in the pot without stirring it after you put in your dumpling, them, they are going to stick to the bottom. You understand what I say? So anything you put in your dumpling them in the pot, you give them a little story. Right? People see them, the carrot dumpling them in the pot. And then you come back and go see when I put when I go put in the yam, Irish and every other else food. But I have to give a dumpling them about one little 10, 7 to 10 minutes make them cook first. So I sure say my dumpling them not raw. My dumpling them cook. So by the time everything else cook, I don't have to worry about my dumpling. You understand? What I say? Alright guys, let's go. A time now for we get the yam, the banana, the squash. Cause I like squashing up. Never mind the pumpkin. If I don't have no pumpkin, as I tell you already. A uh, butternut squash is my thing if I don't have no pumpkin. Cause I love it just the same. As long as you wash it and put it in with the skin, you cook it nice and it don't mash out. You understand what I say? How we do it now, guys? Our kind of way. Some people we use hot water to peel them banana. Right? So we have the yam, we have the butternut squash, we have the banana, and we have the plantain. But guess what? You see them plantain here? Them right type of plantain here? Them are going to the pot last when the pot almost done. Because the worst thing can happen to you when you have turned plantain and ri are ripe enough plantain and put it in the pot too early, it becomes placa placa upon you. Now, if you know them things there, right? So, what we do now, we are going to peel the yam and all of the food now if you go into the pot. Banana, everything. So, we use some cooking oil, some vegetable oil. You tip some in your hand, niggle. Like me say, some people we use like um, warm water. Hot water, just put them boiling, but they cut the stain. Anything we have to stain up your hand, so you just go some, some cooking oil, oil up your hand, and then you know, say, all right, you're not to worry about no stain from nothing. And then now, you take your time and you get to work. And the first thing we have to offer is the yam. So we go so boom, yam, you know, me do my thing different, me dice up my yam. When me have to peel it, it makes life easier for me. I don't know about nobody else. I don't peel my yam all like that. I dice it up and see it in small, smaller pieces. And then I just go up. And I peel my yam easy, quick and fast. I don't have no problem. See there? Peel my yam quick and fast. People don't follow me when I use my cutting board. I don't know I have cutting board for me. So I used to never have a cutting board. <laughs>
now my wonderful people. So we got everything peeled up right now. And we are going to chop the rest of the food in the pot. So the first thing we are going to the pot are the yam. Everything wash and sitting. Now I cut them too small. And we don't want them to mash out. Green banana. Go down there. Green banana in the pot. And remember, when you can't peel no banana, they won't put them down for too long. Because they turn, they turn black. I don't know want that. Irish in the pot. Butternut squash in the pot. So we can get everything in the pot now, my people. See it there? Yam, Irish. Butternut squash, everything in the pot. In the pot. In the pot. Let me fart with me there real quick. So here you know. Everything up and active. Everything in the pot right now. Me have a show no something right now. So we are going with you. See there? Uno member. Uno member that something me about the talk about. The good old carrot dumpling them. See there? With a the nice pretty color. Now everything in the pot I go cook down my people. See there? And now that everything in the pot, my peeps, we are gonna get down to business now. Cause we need to start blend up with coconut right and now. A different business with the pan now, my peeps. So, we are going to move on now to blend up the coconut. And remember, we always prepare everything wash and ready already. Because so we go to work, you know. I tell you a long time, so when we are dealing with the cooking, everything always prep up and ready. You see me? So, see the coconut, you know, my people. And for the coconut, as I always tell you, it's no pretty thing for the coconut. Once it comes up small enough, once the coconut is dry small enough, if you blend up, you're alright. You understand? Once you can't hold in the blender and then I go black up the, the little thing, you know, say, yeah, you're good. You just get some dice up and I use that. Throw it in the blender, the new chip is whatever you have, and I eat that. This now will be the masterpiece, as I tell you already, for the rundown. Some people don't have a clue what is rundown, right? When we do a little breakdown, my people, the packers are going to do the other day. We cook all in one. This time the run done, you cook it right down to gravy with nothing in it. So you're gonna make it go down right down to gravy. Remember we say we mix up the, 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 the gravy, take the meat off of the bone? Alright. Right down to gravy, this is gonna go right now. So we just try and get the, the coconut in. Juice it, blend it up, juice it. And then we see what I go on. From there, my people. As that? Yeah. My peeps, now is the time for the rundown, the masterpiece. So, no, don't want Mr. Piece here. Yeah. For the rundown, remember, me tell you, no, get on a coconut, dice up on a coconut, put in a some water. First things first, you no, get on a, on a thing, blend up on a coconut, right? Yeah, man. Amazing coconut fully blend up now, and then what we do from there, we strain off the coconut, my people. We are gonna strain it off properly. Cause we want the juice to reach to you know, we not to want water it down, but we still want a little amount of juice to put in the pot. You understand? We still want the pot to have a little bit of juice in it. I make it cook right down. Simmer down to island gravy. That is the good old rundown. Mm -hmm. Whoever hear that song there? Old time people used to say, What sweet nanny goat I go run in belly now. Simmer down to island gravy. Believe me, man. That we are going to do right now with the pack, with the rundown here. See the magic of my peeps. So we now make you no miss this apart yeah. We could have never ever make you no miss this my people. Right? 
So my peeps, this is the part where we are going to get. See, we have a coconut milk, right? So we know if we got to work already. We light it up. Make sure we say it all right. Sometimes if you want, you can wait on the pot till the pot at or you can just put it in the pot before. But for me, I'm going to wait on the pot until the pot at. Then I have right over here so now. All of the stuff them in this. I have my scallion. I have my thyme. Yeah. Pepper. Right. Onion. Everything we are going to go in it. And I now I'm going to miss nothing my people. I'm going to show you when I put everything in the pot. You understand? Because I don't want to miss nothing about the packers are right you now, my peeps. <laughs> So you see where I'm at. I pour in the coconut milk in the pot. I put in the thyme and I drop a scotch bonnet pepper in it. So now, make we get the rest of the thing that we have put down. Because pretty much you never really like the, the beans, the, the, if you use broad bean or beans or anything you want to put in the pot. So I'm going to use broad bean and then stuff there, right? What they call it? Cannellini beans. Because we can't find the broad beans, so that looks just fine. No difference for me. We don't know if cow peas, broad bean, whatever. We don't know what I'm putting in it. You understand? But not baked bean. Right? Fine. Coconut milk, thyme, pepper. Then, we have a scale you know, we have in the water. Yeah? You understand? So, peeps, pretty much, you just go chop your scale. You understand what I mean? You just chop up this. And fast, so you basically are season up your pot the right and proper way. You want to season up everything in your pot, you understand? Skelly and gone in there, and me go put in the onion from early as well. And so we got to work. Some people will put some things later on when it start go down, but no, not for me. Reason being, me like the flavor in the pot, and if it's not cook out in the pot from early, me never get the real flavor on me. I look for. So I put in everything in it from now because I want the real flavor. And I have one thing with me with me with me pimento. With me pimento there. Because pimento after go in it, you know. Don't forget to put no pimento seed people. Right? Don't forget the pimento seeds. So I got the pimento seeds right here. See it there? Pimento seed there. Don't forget them there. You don't want much. You don't want two or three grain of pimento. You don't want to worry about nothing. It's not going to worry about them if you put it like that. Remember, some pimento is very strong. It will overpower the thing and you don't want that. Right? Okra. Okra and tomato. I got the tomato here already. Right? Tomato and okra. Yes, look at that drip, man. Tomato and okra are going last. I put in them the last when everything simmer down to island gravy. You understand? Next thing I'm going to put in there now, people, is the spice them. You get me? I bring over the whole of the spice them. As I showed you earlier on in the video, you see the spice them. All of the spice them are come over right now. First one is the chili. But we have a mixture here with chili and garlic. We can use this chili and garlic. So I have a work with that one here. Yeah? Little chili and garlic. And remember, nobody no ask me about no measurement. Because me is a man and I analyze the measurement and I yai at the scale. Right? Then we have little paprika where we are putting it too. We have a black pepper. That is a must, we now left that. Yeah. And then we have some mixed herbs. And we just put that in it for give it a flavor. Not too 
too much because you don't want to overpower it as I say and take the nice little flavor from it. You understand? And then, of course, you're all purpose. You can't forget your, your maggi all purpose. No time. Your maggi all purpose, half in a it. And remember, we have a tin, with two little tin mackerel, let me ask already. Foreign tin mackerel, you know, but they're bad. Don't become a foreign tin mackerel, you don't feel like they're not bad. Foreign tin mackerel, bad. Right? The beans, because these beans are a little hard. You can put these beans from early. Right? I want to know I got to work already. I don't use tin cutter. Because I'm telling you already, see if they are a foreign, you just use one sitting and open them. See them? But when I'm a Jamaica, you have to cut mackerel tin, you have to draw off a knife and cut your mackerel tin, and that's something no way. So anything them give me, me can cut that. Right through, you understand? We know them things they got to work already. Any tin cutter, no tin cutter can beat me when I cut tin. But you don't follow me because next thing you don't cut off your finger because you're not used to them things. You understand? Pour off my little water. Pour off my water because I don't trust them water when they put them something here. You know. No, you can't trust it. Pour off that. And after you pour off that now, my piece, you just put your bean in it. Put your bean in it. And pretty much just, just leave that and make it one simmer down to oil and gravy. Give that little stir. Yeah? Just give it a nice little stir repeat. A nice little stir. And leave it, make it go on. And you see when the, the, the rundown start come from the top like the little coconut kind of little thing where we make everything right. Start from the top. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. You understand? Yes. Yeah man, I saw what you're doing man, I see everything I cook up the right over there so If food them good I soon cook to me soon check them But I know they not cook yet I know they not cook yet So my people This is how we got to work when we are dealing with them your kind of real old Jamaica food yeah. Them always used to say Pakasa, Rondon, Ton Carmel and all of them they are poor people food but guess what and them make with chang and tough so like some old gorilla. Believe me, and them the food, they are the real food. You understand? Yes, my peeps. Watch what I go on. <laughs> Guys, me have show you right now where the rundown reach, and me have show you the magic after you put everything and make it go and cook down. When is the right time to put in on a salt fish, or on a salt mackerel, or on a red herring, or on a tin mackerel, or anything else you have to add with the rundown to make it cook right down to the last of it now. Alright? Make me show you what I want now, guys. I wanna, wanna make sure say wanna catch that piece here, you know, a masterpiece. You guys can see the pot. You see where we have all of these bubbles around here? When the middle, which is right here, start to bubble, just like around here, you know that is the time, guys. That is the time for you to put in whatever you're putting in the pot. Because that means there's not much more left. There's not much more left to cook down. You see the consistency now? Right, it's coming all together. Look. It's coming all together, guys. See? Yes. And we not, we not bust the pepper yet, you know. And remember, you have to bust the pepper to get the nice pepper flavor. But the thing is, you don't want to bust the pepper too early. Else you're not going to eat that food unless you love pepper bad, 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 bad. Right? 
So when me put in the mackerel, the okra and the tomato and everything else, that is the time guys that I am going to burst the pepper in the pot. Yeah? Could they everything done man? See that the food pot there over there so food ready already, you know. That done you know, so me just can't make that go and simmer. This we are work with. Right? And then guys, we are gonna have a nice pot. A carrot dumpling with banana, butternut squash, Irish potato, plantain. You get what I mean? With the good old rundown with the tin mackerel let me know you guys. Me tell you something in a ramp, you know. Me tell you something in a ramp. When me come in the kitchen, me and one of the mad chefs, they will give you some real, high tal, original country food. Me not give you no praka 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 re 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 some real country food me a give you no boy ya. Me not give you me give you the packa side that you know. No, I see me come give you the run down you know you know with some carrot dumpling you know original Jamaica style you know. All right, all right, guys. We almost there. Me a go show you what me mean about the middle of the run down start bubble and at that is the right time to put in where you put in. Whether you want to be salt fish, salt mackerel, any little provision you want to put in it, that is the right time. Right? See, it's almost ready. Almost. And then me know say, alright, we can start prep up them again, guys. What I do, chew off the water here. Half of me, half of me um, okra and my tomato and the other piece of skelly that I have, yeah? So me chew off the water here, guys. You get me? Chew off the water and get everything ready up. Alright, the water chew off now. So I can, can take my little time now and go and cut up them. Because eh? everything where they have to know is going to the pot. Yeah? Everything. Then final little piece of skeleton. I left that little piece of skeleton and that means you get that little piece of flavor thing there with the tomato and everything. Them little Tomato here, you know, what them call them? Salad. We just bust them in our half. You just bust the little salad them in our half. Right? Because when you find the middle of the, the, the rundown start bubble, there's not much left. You just have to put in them after them cook. The okra and the, the mackerel and all of them little things them people. Yeah, man, that's how we got to work, man. Some real Jamaica food. Anyone on the right now, when you show the grandmother, they may want to say, Where would you see them as seen thing here? Yeah? That no grandmother go ask you, you know? Because them your young people, you know what they no cook them as seen here. Yeah? Rice would that kill you. And pasta would that kill you and them little something. You can't get them food here. Yeah? Remember me tell you, see if you have a man now who come from country and come from yard. If him can't cook them as seen here yeah, himself, me sorry for him. Because. You know, you, you can't find no woman so you can cook the rest of you. For them themselves, they don't know what I want. Believe me when I tell you. Unless you did go pick up one country girl. We understand them cooking here. Because I don't mean, knock enough of the tone of them, but I know enough of the tone of them don't know what they're cooking here. Mm -mm. No, sir. So remember me tell you people, and them your food that people for eat, and the other one they want to come with, me don't tell you yet enough. But me I will come with another banger. Me, I will come with another banger on the wall on man. Me tell you, I'm in the ramp in the kitchen, you know. When you think all the story alone, I can't tell. Me can't cook too. Remember me tell you, me can't cook too, believe me. So I know just story. When me put on a pot and on a laughing thing. Alright guys. Yes man, everything reach now. Everything reach. I'm gonna give you a look at what I go on. Right? See the guys? You see? Everywhere in the pot pretty much a bubble. And see come right down there, you see? Right. So that me a show no man. No listen to J Progress no man. At the right time now, when you go up, see everything come right, look at the consistency, could it? See? That is what you call rundown me people. That name rundown and the original rundown, nobody can tell you nothing else. Right? Anybody feel like this on a rundown, me want to encounter J Progress. See them people, and then you just chew in everything. Chew in everything, me people. Chew in all of that, and then you stir it up. Could it? Look at that. Oh, God, man. Oh, gosh, man. Let me say, oi. 
Don't worry about them, you know. They may come out, you know. Let me put them at the side, make you see. Because they may is half at the time. So they may come out before me even put in my mackerel. But you don't know me to have to put in the time to make everything cook down. Yeah, man, that's how we go to work, man. We don't ramp with the cooking, man. You can't watch this up because that is the flavor. You understand? That is the flavor right there, my people. You see me? And see it here? We are taking out them here. They may come out. Because that is half of the time, my people. Wait, me tell you, I'm not ramp with the food, you know? I'm not ramp, man. J Progress is not ramp in the kitchen. See there? Look how it gets thick and nice. And now, time now to get the good old tin mackerel in the pot. Mm hmm. Tin mackerel in the pot, you know, my people. Right? Show with tin mackerel in the pot right now. Tin mackerel in a pot right now. Yes, man. Say yes, no man. Say yes, no man. All right, my piece. I'm never show nothing, you know. Right? Never show nothing. Me now. When me use my tin mackerel, I don't like to see the color up on certain things when me use the other tin mackerel, the red red up my pot. So I like go the one them with the sunflower oil or them put in a little kind of thing like an olive oil and them something like them there. Or the, the what well, them call the oil there, omega whatever oil, omega 3 oil and them thing there. Yeah. So I like the tin mackerel when I put in a them something here. Yeah. Because I don't like to see two red red up, red red up. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, my people, man. This me a talk about. So now I need to give that taste and see which part me there. Ooh! Me see! Me see! Alright, that done, you know? That not done it. Pack us already. I deal with make that one simmer down. So all I need to do now, turn on the stove. That done. See that everything cook right in the some people. Everything cook, even me planting them. See they pumpkin, so that the pot they can turn off. We turn off that the pot there right now. That done me people. See there? Done done done. This are the pot we are focused on right now. This are the pot. And this is the good all run down me people. That J Progress attack, but don't ramp with J Progress in my kitchen. Don't ramp, Get some in that run down here. Yeah? Mm mm. Whoa, boy. Mm. Let me say, we're going to have a tank J progress later, believe. We're going to have a tank J progress. Mm mm. Yes, my wonderful people. So, you see, they know. We don't know me the ramp in the kitchen. We don't see what I go on. One J Progress Entertainment. We don't have to ask nobody nothing about me. And nobody don't have to tell you nothing. A one J Progress Entertainment. I don't already know me go to work already. No. Well, I'll lay out before me even finish that because I'm poor. I mean, I tell you. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank <laughs> you. 